Hello, this is Dave Horan, a product line applications engineer for Viavi Test Solutions. In this video, we'll describe the TCAS testing using the IFR 6000 test set. The IFR 6000 can generate a target for testing the performance of TCAS systems and parametrically evaluate the interrogation signal for items like frequency, power, and data content. Pressing the TCAS instrument key initiates the TCAS test instrument. The IFR 6000 can be used for over-the-air testing of the aircraft systems. The TCAS test or operation screen is where the operator can configure the physical parameters of the simulated target, such as start distance, altitude, altitude rate, and velocity. It also provides the basic measurements of the TCAS being tested, such as frequency, power level, and whether the target is being tracked. Pressing the next parameter or previous parameter soft key will move the cursor to the next or previous operator input. Select a suitable location for the test set antenna so that the aircraft TCAS antenna has a clear line of sight view and is free from obstructions that will cause RF reflections. Measure and input the distance and height values for the antenna range and height. Select auto for the UUT address so that the IFR 6000 can automatically determine the mode S address of the aircraft being tested. If the test set has trouble determining the address, then the selection should be manual and the operator must input the desired test aircraft address. Input the length and loss of the coaxial cable being used to connect the IFR 6000 flat blade and an antenna to the test set antenna connection. Squitters should be set for on. Altitude reporting is set to on. Displayed altitude is either relative or absolute. Relative would be relative to the altitude of the aircraft being tested. A location for the IFR 6000 should be chosen so that there are no metallic obstructions between the IFR 6000 and the aircraft TCAS antenna. The TCAS antenna should be clear, in clear view of the operator IFR 6000 flat plate antenna. Be aware of any hangar walls, toolboxes, or other aircraft near the aircraft you are testing, as these can cause reflections, multipath interference while testing. The TCAS or operation screen is where the operator can configure the physical parameters of the simulated target, such as start distance, altitude, altitude rate, and velocity. It also provides the basic measurements of the TCAS being tested, such as frequency, power level, and whether the target is being tracked. The TCAS reply parameters page affords the operator the opportunity to set some of the reply parameters related to the acquisition and operational status of the target being generated. Some of these parameters are vertical status, capabilities, sensitivity levels, etc. The operator can choose to configure the parameters of the target manually or can select from one of the CAN scenarios provided with the IFR 6000. The, there are three empty scenario slots to allow the operator to save and subsequently recall a custom setup. Once the TCAS scenario is set up with a scenario, the TCAS in the aircraft is set up to operate as it normally would in flight. These setups would include satisfying weight on wheels, air ground switch in the airborne condition, landing gear in the retracted position, and radio altimeter. The operator presses the run test soft key to initiate this scenario. You should observe the range decreasing and the altitude changing as prescribed by the scenario setup. 
the measured parameters of the TCAS processor are displayed in the lower half of the screen. As the scenario progresses, the TCAS processor should display the target at the approximate distance as displayed on the IFR 6000 and at the approximate heading the IFR test set and antenna are set from in relation to the aircraft. For example, if the test set and antenna were placed at the nose of the aircraft, the expected azimuth of the aircraft would be zero degrees. If the test set antenna were placed off the starboard side of the aircraft, the azimuth would be approximately 90 degrees. As the scenario continues to progress, the TCAS processor should generate a traffic advisory and eventually a resolution advisory. The scenario can be repeated as many times as required for testing the TCAS. Pressing the MONSUF key takes the operator to the interrogation monitor screen. This will display the types and quantity of the interrogations from the TCAS being tested. While in the resolution advisory cycle, the TCAS will broadcast resolution advisory status messages. These can be monitored on the TCAS broadcast monitor page. The IFR 6000 can simulate traffic information system broadcast to non-TAS TCAS equipped aircraft. This information is uplinked via a ground to aircraft link provided by the IFR 6000, simulating an uplink from the ATC radar. The IFR 6000 can simulate up to five different targets by simply filling in the bearing, range, altitude, and altitude rate, whether it's climb, descend, or level flight. Setup for traffic information system is similar to any of the other modes inside of the IFR 6000. Pressing run test on the IFR 6000 will engage the scenario as set up by the operator. The configured target should be displayed on the traffic information system display.